So here we are in a classic Swedish tvättstuga and we're going to wash the jeans for the first time in a washing machine. Something that I've heard that is a big no-no. But Jonas, what do you reckon? Well, when it comes to dry denim, it's uh, basically all about um, the character it develops. And some people never wash jeans and some do it uh, quite frequently. How you do it is just a matter of, of personal preference. And the result either way is, is great. The main alternative to a washing machine would be to, um, to wash them in a bathtub. And the main reason for doing this would be to preserve as much of the dye as possible mm -hmm. and do it in a really gentle way. It doesn't really get them super clean though, so today we're going to um, look at how we can wash them gently in a washing machine. So when would you recommend, when's a good time to wash, do a first wash on a pair of dry jeans? Um, the rule of thumb I'd say is uh, the longer uh, you wear your jeans before the first wash, the more contrasting the face will be. Our recommendation is uh, that you wash your jeans after six months of daily wear. You can go longer if you like to. Uh, you can also wash earlier. Um, that's fine. I don't want really to say fades because fade sounds like a haircut. Mm. And that's not what we're talking about. But I say wear marks and the fading of the jeans. So when washing a machine, what do we need to think about? So when washing, and this applies to basically anything, uh, there's four variables to play. It's the time, the temperature, the mechanical movement, uh, as well as the detergent. Right. And these four variables are known as the inner circle, which sounds odd, but it's just named <laughs> after a dude, mm -hmm. uh, or a doctor actually, who uh, I presume loved getting stuff clean. We want to utilize these four variables to get the jeans clean, but in a gentle way, mm -hmm. especially like a well-worn pair of jeans like these. Yeah. And what we want to do is keep the temperature uh, at, a, at a good point where it helps the detergent to dissolve and separate any dirt. Yeah. We also want enough mechanical movement and enough time to physically rinse out the dirt. Right. Yeah. Cool. So let's have a look at uh, the jeans that we have here today. I believe they're a pair of Steady Eddy Dry Selvage. Yes. Yeah, that have been in rotation since 2016. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, they've basically been laying around since, or waiting for a wash as well. But mm -hmm. if we look at them, there's some I um, mean, pretty nice... Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of wear going on. Um, really abraded surfaces at the knees and at the, the pockets. Got some great honeycombs, abrasion marks over, over the... Uh, back of the jeans. There's some green tint as well here like yeah is this something that's quite unique for like our selvage as well? Yeah the the car selvage is is pretty special it, it kind of ages in a weird but very beautiful way it's kind of a intricate uh, fabric. And what about uh, preparations for what, the first wash now what do we have to think about do we take down the cuffs do we? Yeah I would definitely uncuff them yeah and uh, of course uh, we need to like check any pockets for yeah Junk. Chewing gum papers and... <laughs> I don't know. That could and be coin pockets. Yep. And some people, they uh, they roll their jeans before they put them in the washing machine. Right. Uh, some people fold them. Okay. And why is that? Uh, I would I would say it's to minimize any bad wash effects. Either way, I think the result will be similar. Uh, if you want to roll them, go ahead. If you want to fold them, okay. go ahead. Let's roll them. Let's roll. So I'll flatten them out a bit, like so. And I mean, it it wouldn't matter that much because it's gonna tump around in the washing machine, but. Mm -hmm. That's a good start. So there we go. And what I tend to do, uh, especially if the jeans hasn't been worn that much, is to pre-soak them okay. prior to the wash. So they they get a little bit softer. And uh, in my mind, I think that it, it might help from getting bad wash effects, but mm. these are well worn and we won't have any risk of, of, of getting any really bad wash cool. effects. And when it comes to settings and detergents, what, what do you suggest? So since these are well worn, I would recommend a regular uh, 40 degree or cold wash. Cool. Also, if, you, if, if it's possible, since this is the first wash, I'm not sure about these machines, but you can set the, the spin cycle uh, to low. Yeah which can be good, and especially if they're not well worn. Otherwise, detergent, always use one that's for uh, colored clothes. Um, and as far as brand goes, different markets have different brands, and yeah. I can't really recommend anyone. Uh, we're going to use this one for colored clothes. Um, what you do not want to use is um, a detergent that's um, 
that has any bleaching in it. Mm -hmm. And also you don't want to use stain removers because both of these can uh, bleach the genes, um, resulting in, in bad wash effects. Also, there's no real point in using fabric softener if you're washing um, dry stretch denim. Don't use uh, fabric softener at all. Sweet. Time for the machine. Time for the machine. This is gonna be fucking interesting, actually. Yeah, imagine if I room them. Like, so much for being a fucking engineer. <laughs> okay, so we're back, and before we left, we set a timer because you don't want to leave your jeans in the machine wet. Uh, anything else we need to think about, Jonas, after washing them? No, uh, but removing them directly when the cycle is done is a crucial point. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to leave them all crinkled up and wet in, in the washing machine because you can risk uneven distribution of the color, uh, resulting in the snakeskin effect. <laughs> And how about drying? Uh, so first things first, we want to want to even out the surface of the fabric. These came out pretty flat. Um, then we want to stretch the inseam, mm. uh, both on the outside. And this is the inseam, but you want to stretch this yeah. and the outside seam. Yeah. Also, if they're tight in waist, uh, go ahead and stretch them there. Yeah, and that's just to pull them out. Yeah, just sure. to like uh, make sure they doesn't shrink too much. Uh, otherwise, let them hang dry. Do not use a uh, tumble dryer. Especially not if it's stretched denim. Okay, cool. Okay, let's wrap it up. A few key points. Jeans inside out, 40 degrees. Detergent for colored clothing. Stretch them out when they're out of the machine. Uh, flat lay them out, hang them to dry. Exactly. Cool. Was there anything else? No, nope. you got it, buddy. Sweet. Go nuts breaking in your denim. That's it for us for today. And let's check out the results.